Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1, back again with another Transformers video review. I know I've been gone for a long time, and my summer's been kind of pretty busy lately, but um, what I have in front of me is the six hardest legends to find ever. It took me so long to find these guys, and Big Bad Toy Store could not get this particular set for the longest time. It took them almost an entire year to get this set. They had them <clears throat> they had them individually, they had them where there's like three of three Megatrons, two Starscreams, and then one of these three, or two, two, and one of each, or whatever, but it took forever just for them to get this full set. And when they finally did, I got it. So now I'm reviewing it. Um, and as always, we start with the Decepticons. So, first we have Starscream. Um, he is, once again, an F-15 fighting eagle. Um, the, yeah, the Reveal the Shield Generations Universe Classics, yeah, they were all G1s. Except for the Cheetor and... G2 Megatron tank mode. But anyways, um, it's a very sleek jet this way. Not this way. And definitely not this way. Especially since you can see the face. Um, but it's still a good jet all around. Um, it actually pulls it off quite nicely. Um, and the rub symbol is right here and my camera can't really get it but I can see a bronze hint but I'm not rubbing it that much so yeah his rub symbol is on his wing so transformation you want to pop the legs out and bring them down there's a peg and then the holes in the wing pop bring it down and you want to fold the fins into the leg. Leave that there. And then what you want to do is you want to grab these pieces here in the back, flip them all the way around, flip the arms down, flip and pull, flip and pull, and now his arms have the null rays. And then what you want to do here is you want to twist the head all the way around to the real cockpit and then push the real cockpit up into the fake cockpit bring the legs down just the knees and then flip the little blue piece back and there is Starscream very very good job um, on this Starscream uh, very G1 reminiscent I love the the body here. Um, it looks really good. Um, the face even has a little smirk on it, um, though you can't really see it. Um, I love the how they incorporated the null rays. Um, not that big on articulation. He's got ball jointed arms, but the wings get in the way, so he can't point that way. He can do this, but he can't flip the hand facing forward. Um, the legs can only go this way, but he does have knee joints, ball jointed knees, so good on that one. Alright, I'm actually going to save this one for last, so skipping, skipping the last Decepticon and going straight into a complete repaint. Yes, this is the Universe Bumblebee uh, mold, just in a gold paint scheme, and they called it Gold Bumblebee when it's actually Goldbug from Season 4 of G1. I should know. I have the box set. Um, but Transformation is exactly the same. Come on. Mm. Albeit a little tighter. And there you go. Goldbug in robot mode. Rub symbols on the on his chest. Um, so yeah, there's Goldbug. Probably, probably the weakest 
of all six. Actually, he is the weakest of all six. Next up, Trail Cutter, or as every fan out there calls him, Trailbreaker. This is the first time Trailbreaker has been redone, or done at all, since G1. And he looks very good, very G1 reminiscent, although because he's a lot longer and sleeker, um, to me he looks like a hearse, which is equally awesome. Um, and then his rub symbol is right here. Mine sometimes like to work really good or really bad. And right now, oh, there we go. It's starting to work. Barely see it. But yeah. Transformation is pretty much just like the original G1 toy. Bring them all the way down. It, do, the, it doesn't click into the waist, but you can feel it slide in there and then just hold. Um, and then what I like to do is split the arms first and then fold the chest back because it, it doesn't let it go all the way back. If you fold the arms last, it goes down deeper and then it doesn't look quite as good. So I fold the arms all the way out and then push it down. And then bring the head up, fold the arms down, fold feet up, and then split. And there's Trailbreaker or Cutter, whichever you prefer. Um, once again, very G1 accurate. Even down to the the leg, the pieces on his legs, and the coloring, and the little piece on top of his head. So, very good on that one. Let's get these guys over. Next up is Prowl. Finally, we get a Legends Prowl other than the animated one, which is so hard to find. Um, but he is a police car. He is not a Nissan 350Z, like the um, Universe Deluxe was. Um, he's just a... almost. He almost looks kind of like movie Sideswipe, but not really. Because it's nothing near a Corvette. It just looks that way. Um, his rub symbol is right here in the front. And there it's kind of working. Um, and the first time I transformed him, the light bar popped off. Um, but I just rammed it back in there and it hasn't popped out since. Um, but yeah. Transformation is exactly the same as Universe Legends Jazz. Except this time, the feet are a little different. I'll show that in a second. Bring it down. There. See, he actually has heels, almost high heels, um, instead of Jazz's flat feet. So, and this actually allows for a lot more ankle movement than Jazz did. So, it's the same as Jazz, but a little bit different than Jazz. Alright, this is one of the ones, other than the one coming up next, that I've wanted to talk about. Optimus Prime. This is so awesome to finally have a G1 Optimus Prime, small enough to stick in your pocket and take it with you. Um, and it's uh, it's just so awesome, um, even though it has very obvious feet. Um, and his rub symbol is located right here. And it's sort of half working. Um, transformation is dead on G1 for right here. And then it goes classics with the spin. And then it goes back to G1. And there you go. Let's put the legs. There is Optimus Prime. Awesome. It's a better chest sculpt than you would have had this way. He's very fat that way. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but the legs would be backwards. Um, for articulation, he has limited ball joint 
um, at the hips, no knees, but he's got ball jointed elbows, and then he's got a, um, it's a ball joint, but he can't move his arm in, but he's got a 360 arm, and you can bring him in and out due to transformation. And then you can cheat, have his face look down into his body cavity, or bend him at the waist, like how you'd transform him, but in order to let him look down. So, there you go. Second best out of all of these. But now the one, I have here, I'll stick him over here because he's out of the shot. The one I've been waiting to do, and he's kind of out of the shot too. The one I've been wanting to do, Megatron. Finally, after 27 years, unless you count the classics Nerf gun Megatron. He's finally a gun mode again. And this one is almost dead on accurate to the Walther P38. It's just uncanny. It's so awesome. Except for the orange point. Really? A gun this small, you, you, you can't even can't even put your finger between the fake trigger and the 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 handle thank you um but yeah i actually have seen guns that are this small i've seen a brass knuckle gun it's freaking awesome um so yeah i can understand somewhat the the orange tip and it wouldn't be that much of a problem if the whole barrel wasn't the orange and then they they painted it gray that, that's just kind of stupid, but whatever. Side note. Um, other than that, the best one. Best one out of the whole wave. Transfer. Oh, hold on. Before I get to transformation, slot in leg. Pegs on this leg can work with Masterpiece Seekers. He is backwards compatible with a toy made five years previous maybe yeah yeah five five maybe six that's just cool well done on that um now for transformation i'll split the legs like so and then you want to bring this hand out move it up Again, I want to push on the face from the underside. At least I do. I do the face first. You don't have to. And then scoot it over like that. Fold this arm down, and we have Megatron. Just bask in the awesomeness. He finally has his fusion cannon once again, unless you count classics. He's got ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, um, swivel jointed arms. He's got a transformation neck. I mean, you could get this guy into a lot of cool poses. He just will be looking at the ground when he's in one of them. Um, the only thing I don't really like, and it's just for me, Part of the, the fake trigger is sticking out of his toes. I'm not, and then this foot's just normal. But that's just me. But the detailing on the chest, on his face, on the the arms. Although the arms are kind of asymmetric. Um, just the overall awesomeness to this figure. It's just so cool. And I see I'm running out of time. Um, but yeah, there's the Reveal the Shield Legend figures. Best one, Megatron. Then Prime, Starscream, Prowl, Trailbreaker, Cutter. And then Goldbug or Gold Bumblebee. Um, this has been Spider-Prime 1. Be back with another review pretty quick. But until then, I am signing off.